guys and welcome back to my channel and today we're going to be talking about how to be autism friendly and this was inspired by a TED talk that I watched yesterday on YouTube so as an autistic person I want to give my own special twist on it and I will link the video down below in my video description so you can watch the video that inspired this video so I hope you enjoy as an autistic lady in the UK, I agree we've become a more autism aware country, but we still have such a long way to go to lead up to full understanding. Sometimes I know with autistic people we talk too fast, too loud and we have to slow down. We need to be able to understand fully, to be fully inclusive. Autism is a lifelong neurodevelopmental condition, it is also a spectrum condition. We may communicate differently, including our environment. For every social situation for autistic people, we may be highly anxious all the time. It can be sensory overwhelm, anxiety provoking, the smells, the taste, the touch of people and the fear of the unexpected. Accessibility is a big issue and a big barrier with regards to autistic people in general. Autistic people daily face accessibility barriers because everything can be really overwhelming, especially when you go into the buildings like medical places, job seeking agencies, the education system, the National Health Service, there are barriers to being employed as part of the interview process, it's hard for us to be not unpredictable. Be, by being autism friendly, society is something that needs to meet autistic people's needs, be able to participate fully in society within the community. It only needs to be little adaptations to make it easier for autistic people. Hashtag nothing about us without us. Commit to being autism trained by autistic people and listening to our point of view and helping us to make society easier. Develop visual guides on how your property or premises can become autism friendly. Accepting of service dogs or service animals for autistic people to access your building to make it more, more less anxiety provoking. We need to be in constant communication with professionals and medical health professionals and people within employment and education services to make it more autism friendly by including society, being good for autistic people, being good for them and local businesses. As an autistic woman watching this TED talk, I felt that I watched it inspire me to create my own version and let professionals know how I truly feel and supportive of their businesses. I feel, yes, that we still have a long way to go with regards to fully accepting autism, but we're on the right path. And as you'll see in my video thumbnail, I have attached some examples of places that I want to take notes of this video, and I hope that they'll take notice of it. We are coming together a long way to get autism acceptance, but the problem is a lot of places are still inaccessible, mental health buildings, the job centre, a lot of schools are inaccessible, a lot of mental health buildings are inaccessible. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed hearing about how to become more autism friendly by turning lights down, by giving people more time in your building, by having a autism aware sticker in your facility, by being autism trained by the Autism Act 2009 and by getting together with the autistic people to help you make your buildings and your places of work more accessible. So just little adaptations like that that can help a massive long way to help us communicate with you. And also doing things like having the World Autism Aware Week where we can talk to each other and we can be in the same place understanding how autism can affect you in a positive way, not in a negative way all the time. So I hope you've enjoyed these little tips and like I said I will attach the talk in the video description down below and some links to the National Autistic Society for more information and I will see you on the next video. Bye guys!